Welcome! In this video, I will explore how to add, remove and perform some alterations to legends in ggplot2 diagrams. In our studio, I have set up a basic line diagram. Along the x-axis, you can see it has years. On the y-axis, we count the number of teachers. And then each line relates to a separate subject. If you would like to know more about this line diagram, I created it in a separate video and I will put a link to that video in this video's description. From the diagram, we cannot tell currently which subject is represented by which line. Therefore, to aid the user, we will add the legend. In ggplot2, for the legend to appear, we are required to use AES, which relates to aesthetic mapping. So to do this, it's quite straightforward. All I do is in my code inside GeoMine, I put AES brackets, and then inside AES for the legend to appear, I now need to either use fill, color, alpha, or shape. And in this scenario, I'm going to use color to color the lines. So I type in color, equals and I would like each line to be coloured dependent upon the subject so we just type in subject and now if I run my code for my diagram you can see that each subject is represented in a different colour with the legend appearing at the side aiding the user to understand which colour relates to which subject. Nice and easy to do. So perhaps I'm in the scenario where I would like each line to have a different colour, but I don't actually require the legend. In this scenario, if we go back into our code, inside the theme section, to remove the legend, all I need to do is type legend dot position equals inside double quote marks none come outside my double quote marks and put a comma now if i run my code for my diagram again you can see that my line colors remain but my legend has disappeared i will remove the legend position code to bring back the legend The next thing I want to show you is how to remove the title from the legend. So at the moment, the title is subject, but you may not want the word subject to appear. So to do that, all I need to do is type in legend dot title equals and then type in element underscore blank. Outside my double brackets, I just make sure I've still got a comma to separate it from the next section of code, and I do. So all I need to do now is run my code. And as you can see, my legend has reappeared, but it no longer has the title subject above it. I would like to see the title of my legend again, so I will just remove this code that I just put in. And this time, what I'd like to do inside theme is change the location of the legend. I would like the legend to sit at the top of the diagram. And to do that, all I do is type in legend dot position. So we're back using the same code as we used earlier to remove the legend. But instead of removing it, this time we're going to say inside double quote marks top and that will move the legend up to the top. If I run my code, you can see that the legend has been moved to the top of the diagram. With legend.position, you can move the legend to other locations such as below the diagram using the word bottom or to the left of the diagram using left. So far, I have looked at creating and then moving where the legend appears in relation to the diagram. Now I will look to make changes to the aesthetics of the legend itself. 
There are a number of different ways to do this. I can keep making the changes inside the theme section, but as I would like to keep all the changes I'm going to make to the aesthetics of the legend together, I am going to use guides. So in my code, my diagram is called lines and on two lines, I want to add the existing diagram and then I add guides, brackets, inside guides, as the aesthetic I used previously was colour, I stick with that. So I type colour equals and then I type in guide underscore legend and inside the brackets I will make some changes. To make it easier to see I will insert the changes on a new row and then if I go to the documentation for ggplot2 guide legend you can see that there are a number of different changes which can be made to the legend and I am just going to explore a few of them. Going back over to our studio, in the legend you can specify the number of rows over which you would like the legend to be spread. So for example if I put in row equals 3 and run the code, you can see the legend now has 3 rows. If I want to make sure it is always in two rows, I change end row to two. And that's what I will do in this scenario. So back in my code, I change three to two. The other thing I would like to do is move the positioning of the word subject, which is the legend title. I would like the word subject to sit on top of the rows rather than to the left hand side. To do that, I just type in title dot position equals and then inside double quote marks top I'm going to put a comma not only do I want the title to sit above the rows I would like it to sit in the middle of the width of the legend so to do that I type in title dot h just because I am wanting to horizontally justify the title and here I put 0 0.5. It is 0 0.5 because left justified is represented by 0 and right justified is represented by 1. Therefore, to get the title in the middle, we put 0 0.5. If I now run the code again, you can see that we have two rows and the word subject sits in the middle. Earlier in this video, I showed you how to remove the title from the legend in the theme section. Now I will show you an alternative way to remove the title in the guide legend section. So if I go back into my guides section in my guide legend, I'll remove the two title rows. And instead, to remove the title, all I need to do is do title equals and then null. If I run my code, you can see that the legend title has been removed. As with most things in R, there is more than one way to adjust legends. There are so many more changes you can make to legends and I will put helpful links in this video's description to some other resources. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.